go to Kular that they were climbing up. It's kind of a really steep chute between the rocks uh, on Kolchak Peak. It started with a small slide triggered by one of the hikers, but sending three down the mountain. When the snow slid, um, they slid through this rocky chute um, about 500 feet vertically. It didn't bury them. Uh, they suffered traumatic injuries on the way down. Those traumatic injuries, he says, is what led to their deaths. Complicating the rescue? About an hour later, there were three more avalanches that came through, and uh, two of the victims haven't been seen since those avalanches came through, so we can't confirm their location right now. Their goal? Locate them and bring them back as soon as possible. This so that the Park, Lee, and Cho families can have closure. It's important to the family that their loved one is recovered. But as winter weather persists, we don't want to put anybody else in the same danger. They're prioritizing safety as avalanche conditions remain dangerous. That is until they can get the go ahead from reps of the Northwest Avalanche Center who went up there Wednesday to assess the hazards. I, I don't have a timeline. It's just uh, right now, there's too many unknowns. Gotcha. Yeah, so it might even be like weeks from now. That's a possibility. We, we don't want that, but it's a possibility. And county officials say a fourth person in this party is recovering from non-life threatening injuries. Sergeant Reinfeld reiterated the importance of carrying an avalanche beacon or locating device while traveling the Washington backcountry, as well as a probe and a shovel. Reporting live in studio, I'm Maddie White, King 5 News.